After rallying for Obamacare, unions in this country seem to have a change of heart. Now it appears the White House may woo back big labor by letting them dodge a tax attached to the law. And the lost money will likely come of come out of all of our pockets. Fox News contributor Mallory Factor joins us right now. He knows all about the unions. He wrote this great book called Shadow Bosses. Good morning, Mallory. Good morning. What do you mean woo back? You mean payback. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> when, right after the election, Richard Trumka, head of the AFL-CIO, actually went on and spoke to a whole group of people and said, if it wasn't for us, Obama wouldn't have won Ohio, Wisconsin, Nevada, and about three or four other states. They're paying them back now. And they are. Let's talk a little bit about the latest tax that they might get to uh, skip on, and that's this reinsurance tax. Essentially what it is, is it's supposed to be spread out among all Americans. Right. They've got to raise, what, uh, $12 billion, some crazy number like that. It's going to be more than that. And so everybody's supposed to pay 63 bucks, except the unions want a get-out-of-jail card. Well, unions are going to get the get-out-of-jail card, because one thing you can count on from this administration is they're going to take care of their friends and everybody else going to have to pay. What this tax basically does is it pays for insurance companies to take on those people who are, have pre-existing conditions and those people that were uninsured. And the unions, those, you know, those really nice folks who want to take care of the working people, they're saying, we don't want to have to pay that. We don't want to have to help pay it. Well, and you look at, at uh, the language in the law, it's been so carved out especially for unions. It would only applies to unions. But you know what? It, it, for the rest of us who would wind up picking up the slack, how should we feel about them getting a the special carve out? Um, we should feel pretty bad, but the fact is we're going to get stuck with it. The Obama administration is going to take care of the unions and the shadow bosses. Which you detail they, they have all along. So the president got a lot of support from the unions in the, in the beginning, and there was, there's, there's been kind of a yin and yang thing going with uh, support for Obamacare. Right now, they support it, provided they don't have to pay the tax, right? The unions helped get Obamacare through the That's House right. and the Senate, and they pushed real hard. And one of the reasons they pushed is because they only have about 10% of the health care industry unionized. And with Obamacare, a lot of health care workers will become government employees. Oh, that's and, good and for they their see enrollment. 21 million potential people as union members. And keep in mind, there's a one little metric. For every million new members, that's almost a billion dollars in dues annually Jack for the shadow bosses. Yeah. That's a lot of money. No kidding. All right. In addition to writing the book, uh, Shadow Boxes, he's also a coach for his son's team down in Charleston. And the record is? 10 and 0. Merritt did a great job as our center. <laughs> wow. All right. Mallory, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks. All right. Very good.